Tonight, staff at three Vermilion Parish schools are more prepared to handle dangerous situations. Deputies worked with the schools to teach everyone what to do if a shooter ever came on campus. Mike Carter was there. Lockdown! Teachers from across Vermilion Parish are learning techniques that could help save lives in the event of an active shooter situation. We're focusing on identifying the threat as early as possible uh, when the incident happens. We're giving them the proper techniques and procedure to lock down their classroom, keep their kids safe. Raise your hand if you've seen the Columbine recreation video. We don't play it anymore. Hurt a lot of people's hearts. One of the most important tools teachers walk away with from this annual event is how to lock down a classroom. We never rely solely on the locking device. We want to put as many barriers between the suspect and our kids as possible. Among other things, teachers are taught how to secure doors shut by ratcheting tables to doorknobs and using devices like these to prevent anyone from getting in. This is just a commercially available door wedge. Uh, the ones that we use, they're, they're serrated at the top. They tend to bite the door a little better and they're also rubber and they have a good steel backstop on it. So if this were a door that opened towards me, I would set it nearest to the door frame, give it a couple kicks, and it's pinning the door up into the frame and also preventing it from opening towards me. Is it 100% foolproof? No, but nothing in life is 100% guaranteed. Now, while the sheriff's office is sponsoring today's event, it says it'll be up to the school board and individual teachers to actually purchase door stoppers like these, which can run anywhere from $10 to $30 a piece. But because it's such a big deal, I think that the school should provide something for us because, I mean, that's just another thing that we have to, like, provide for our students. We can't put a price on a child's safety. At Erath High School, Mike Carter, KATC TV3.